The one thing that jumps out at me about your numbers is you've been a professional for six years and never once have you had an ERA in the fours. What does that say? I pride myself in pitching good. I really do. I, it just shows that I compete, I think. And uh, it's, it's overlooked. You, first, like, you know, you got a bunch of guys down there who can play and they, you know, get released or just overlooked. And I was just lucky enough to kind of get my shots here and there and shoot myself up into the big leagues. You know, even here, uh, people wonder, boy, when he gets his shots in the big leagues, he never gets hit hard. Should have got more shots. How do you see it? I see it the same. I don't really get hit around. If, it, if it's a bad game for me, we know it's, you know, ball, 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 foul ball, foul ball, swing and miss, foul ball, foul ball. It's just a lot of pitches in a little amount of time. So that's just the problem there. If I could kind of control the pitch count, I think that we'd step my game up big time. Okay, so how do you prepare to do that, like, in the off season? Because you want to be at your best right now. What could you do in the off season to prevent, you know, low walk totals? So every off season, I don't have a, anyone riding my throwing program. I kind of just get down there and think, you know what? This year I struggle with this. So I'm gonna work on this. I think I feel that and this. Well, this last off season, I went up to Driveline. Have you heard of them before? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Explain that though for our listening audience. There's Seattle, um, the base out of Seattle. They got guys everywhere now, and they they came up with just. They're known as like the weighted ball guys, but that's not what they only do. You know, they do a bunch of different things. And so I got an assessment and stuff and they kind of showed me and then they gave me a plan of what I need to work on and how. So they gave me drill work, mound work, all this stuff that I do. Uh, you know, I have a program throughout the week and um, kind of prepare me to uh, cement in my mechanics and stuff, my delivery to home. So you're stuff is good enough that you can be in the strike zone the entire game oh, and yeah. not, get hit, not get killed. Yes, I, I, I agree. I could throw any pitch in the strike zone and I think I'll be safe. It's just i got to get it there. Huh. Um, how do you see this situation? Because if Carlos is a starter, those are probably the five starters etched in stone. How do you see your situation? I see it as uh, this... Uh, the spring training is going to provide me an opportunity to, to perform. If I go out there and I perform, I believe I'll find myself somewhere in the big leagues because they'll, they'll, they like having me up there. You know, I'm able to bounce back and forth, I believe. It's just I have to go up there and perform. If I come out here this spring and pitch good, I think uh, I'll be, they'll have me up there. And how often do you think about the injury? Oh, never. never. My, the one in my head? Yeah. No, no, never. Gotcha. One final thought. Uh, we're doing this series on our NBC affiliate in St. Louis about a turning point in a person's life, like a moment that, hey, if this doesn't happen, maybe I'm not where I am. Maybe it happened early, maybe it happened late. What would be the turning point for you? Probably the hit in the head. Um, you know, that allowed me to just, as, when you get hit in the head, you can't do anything besides sit there and heal. You can't work out, you can't rehab, really. I just sit there and wait. So all that did was give me time to myself time to relax, like step away, you know, uh, time to spend a lot of time in the Bible. I read a lot then, came closer to God and my relationship was a lot better there. And then from there, that like built up person that I had made went out and stuff and kind of built all that up. So you were, were you a born again Christian at the time or did that accident bring you to the Lord or just brought you closer. I would say I was a lukewarm Christian until then, and then I got hit in the head, and it was like, what are you doing? You know, wake up. Just like a, getting hit in the head, like, wake up, you know? And that really just brought me a lot closer, and he pulled me closer to home. Andy Venice, former Cardinal pitcher, I don't know if you ever heard of him, 2,000 strikeouts, but he said that he would actually be singing hymns on the mound while he was pitching sometimes. Do you have the Lord involved while you're on the mound? Yes, uh, I talked to him a lot. Well, give me this one, or why did you let me do that? You know, or uh, I'll, I'll sometimes be I'll singing throughout the day, and then um, in the weight room, I'm always singing. And, uh, and usually pregame, I got some song in my head, and then in the mount, it's just me and him talking. You're talking to the Lord in between pitches. Sometimes. Yeah. Be with me. I'm I'm here, Lord. Everything, bad, good, and then like, or I'll just be yelling at myself. Usually, if you see me mad out there, I'm mad at myself, 95% of the time. 